the thing I like about the rock is he goes, Hey man, I'm, I'm not going to just try to mold myself down. I'm just going to be me. And that's what he's done. And he's taken over, you know, Hollywood by himself. All right. I'm going to run some, uh, uh, just random questions, uh, about you. Now, first of all, we were talking about your induction into the uh, International Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame, and you're one of the guys who came up old school, all right? You came up through uh, when I first met you in Texas. You had the blonde hair. I was standing there posing you. Um, you had not developed a Stone Cold thing nearly at that point. There, from a lot of different territories to ECW and finally into uh, WWE, where they tried a different bunch of things there. The Steve Austin that I met, the, the, the kid with the blonde hair, if he got into the ring against Stone Cold Steve Austin at Stone Cold Steve Austin's peak, what would have happened? If he would have gotten to the ring, what? At the peak of with Stone Cold Steve Austin, what would have happened? If Stone Cold Steve Austin would have been at peak health? Yeah. Man, well, I guess my run would have lasted a lot longer, you know, and, you know, if I, if I had just, you know, shaved my head, but had been in that body, you know, at about 95% because I've always had a bad left wheel, there, there's no telling to what I could have done, you know, had everything else played out the same with, uh, with respect to the development of the character. Yeah. But, you know, things along the way getting dropped on my head forced me to turn into a brawler, but God, if I could have had that kind of physicality and, you know, and that that kind of health that I had in my youth, you know, the run would last a lot longer. And believe me, retiring at 38, you know, was the toughest, one of the toughest things I've ever had to do, walk away from a business that I love so much. This is one of the things that I love more than anything in my life. You know, I, I have my family, of course, and they're very close to me, but uh, professional wrestling, if you want to call it sports entertainment, it's all the same to me. Uh, this is the, my, one of my biggest, if not the biggest passion of my life. So it was very hard to walk away at 38 years of age. Yeah. So the run would have lasted a lot longer, Bill. We would have raised a lot more, a, a lot more hell. We would have drank a lot more beer. We would have told a lot more <laughs> great stories and having those fans live vicariously through those storylines. And, you know, we're, we're working and traveling with the WWE was the time of my life. And a lot of times, you know, when the chips were down and the road was dragging you out and you show up at Monday Night Raw and you don't know what you're doing and they drop the 411 on you, you find out and it's like, oh, hell yeah, man, this is going to be awesome. Or maybe you got to make some tweaks, but going, Go to, a it. Yeah. Or going to television and, and seeing what kind of destruction you're going to cause was like therapy for me. So I, I look forward to it and I treasure my days on the road. I treasure the people that I met. Before we leave here, um... I've got a countdown here on Zoom. Uh, I want to ask you about the return of Barack Lesnar. Love Brock Lesnar. Jesus Christ, that guy has been in the game forever. You know, tried to make a pro football. Never really played a whole lot of football. A couple time All-American in wrestling. Almost makes the football team, the Minnesota Vikings. Then he says, hey, I'm going to go fight in the UFC. <laughs> Becomes a UFC heavyweight champion. Yeah. Then gets back into the business. He's still, after almost 20 or over 20 years, the biggest draw, him and Roman, in the business today. So Brock Lesnar has one of the, has had one of the most amazing, different runs in the history of the business, and no one will ever do it like Brock Lesnar has done it. Whether it's Suplex City or in the Octagon or what, whatever it is Brock is doing, and that babyface run he had right before WrestleMania 38, when you have this this big mass of an alpha male and he shows that vulnerability and just people just clamor to him. So just a charismatic force of nature. Yeah, yeah. I had two other quick questions while yeah. the thing is uh, counting down. Um, Undertaker, 30 years. Pretty amazing. Did, did you ever think that would last that long? Well, was it 30 years or 30 with the WWE? Uh, well, no, he was the Undertaker character 30 years. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So he was in before 30 years in the WWE. That That is no, that's something no one else will do. 
And if they'd have gave that gimmick to anybody else, and I told Marcus to his face, it might have lasted two years, maybe three, and then it just fell off and no one would have been able to do it like he did. It was a once in a lifetime thing where they caught lightning in a bottle and the bottom line, and I knew Mark was going to be a star when we stunk out the sportatorium. He was working as the Punisher, and I was stunning Steve, or whatever he's called. But, you know, Mark is an amazing talent, and for him to be able to make that run and make those micro adjustments to that character and stay in touch with that fan base and, and always at the top, or, or if not at the top, very near to the top, to keep himself in that position for Vince to use as he did, a freaking master. All right. One la- now the last question with the uh, countdown here. Did you ever think that little Dwayne Johnson would uh, make it into the uh, uh, become the highest, most high profile movie star in Hollywood, in the world? You know, who would have figured? But, you know, I think that's what he had his sights set on. And, you know, he's third generation pro wrestler. And so he got into the business because of a passion for the business. And then also, you know, saw the saw the light on the other side or the, the light at the end of the tunnel. And the, that first tunnel was maybe that, that first Scorpion King movie. And yeah. I, only, I think it only took just one screenshot of him looking like a movie star, this larger than life character that he was in, in, in that movie. Uh, whether it was The Mummy or whatever it was, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And, and and then he then he almost tried to fit into Hollywood standards and says no 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 just let me do this my way. Yep. So the thing the thing I like about the Rock is he goes hey man, I'm I'm not going to just try to mold myself down. I'm just going to be me, and that's what he's done. And he's taken over, you know, Hollywood by himself. Yeah. Hey, everybody else is doing their things, but yeah, I, I could I could definitely see it back then that a guy like him would have. The, the capability and the ability and, and the want to to succeed like he has and he's done it through nothing but hard ass work so props to him I, I I've loved uh, our matches together I always loved working with him and I'm proud of him and I'm happy for all of his success because he's he's just killing it and he's working his ass off.